Hey guys, this is my first time doing a voiceover style vlog, so please forgive me if I'm a little awkward. Yeah, I'll try my best for you at least. So here's some footage of us after we flew into Osaka, taking the train out of the Kansai airport towards our first destination, our Airbnb in Osaka. Uh, after that, we'll be heading to the Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine in Kyoto, the biggest Inari Shrine in Japan, so stay tuned for that. There'll be a lot of footage later on in this video. Right now, I just felt like sharing with you guys all of this scenery on the train. It was really interesting to me seeing how barren the um, Japanese interstate and overpasses are. Also, just seeing the fields and the differences in buildings and you know, just the way things are laid out. It's really cool to see. The train ride from the Kansai airport to anywhere in Osaka was probably the longest train ride I had, so just be forewarned. <laughs> I got a lot of footage of the countryside and the trains you can see here and the buildings. It just went on forever and there was so much to look at. I honestly just stared out the window for an hour it felt like maybe longer I don't know it was a long train ride though anyways moving on here's some other footage for you guys <laughs> oh and here's a sleeping Usa shh don't wake her up and it sounds like our stop is coming up so we're about to get off and see the shrine yay Please change here for the Uji line. After Chushojima, this train stops at Tambahashi. I have little fox gotcha. Super cute. I'm gonna do this one, my shadow. It's cute, little pouches. <laughs> ah, that's beautiful. Oh my god, I need to do that. She's gonna do one too. Which one will she get? We'll open ours and see if we got different. I like this one right here with the little Tori. I like, I like them all of them, but I like that one the most, I think. Open yours. Like Maybe that one? one or the, the one booty. at the top? Yeah, I think I got yeah. the booty one because it's the little <laughs> ones. That's cute. Uh, there's tape. Of course there's tape. And cold fingers. I'll just play the Jeopardy song yeah. through this part of the video. Yeah. <laughs> do 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 Okay, finally. Oh, very honky here. It's a very narrow road though. Yeah, it's a lot of people. And cars. Aw, oh, is it the one I like? It kind of looks, yes, I think it is. No, it's still cute though. It has a little like fox on this side oh, of the cute. scroll. It's a big fox face. Yeah, that's so cute. cute. They're all cute though. Yeah, super cute. Yay. Which one did you get? This is this. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I see fox butt. Yep, I got the fox booty. Oh, <laughs> like that's adorable. Yeah, I like him. Uh, same kind of. Ah, uh, the backs are the side. same. It looks like. Yeah. Wow, that's cute. Ah, cute. Bye. Ah. Now we're on our way to the actual shrine, which is just across this bridge and train crossing. But right now the train is about to show up, so we have to wait a hot second before we can cross. Uh, in case you were wondering, this is what a train uh, intersection looks like. <laughs> we got steam buns since we're a Haku and Chihiro. We're gonna go up to the shrine now and get some pictures and sightsee. We might not do the whole walk because it's like over two miles of steps, like yeah. 12,000 steps or something crazy. So we don't know about that, but we'll at least try to like give it our best and see how far we get and look at the little shrines at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, the, as much uh, as we can. Inari Shrine, by the way, I know I didn't mention it earlier, which is the Fox God. So this is the main shrine in Japan, the biggest one for this deity. So foxes everywhere, basically. Super adorable. Yeah. Gonna 
to try it. Mm. That's good. Very good. Warm. Wishy. Here's the entrance to the shrine. It's really pretty. So a common thing in Japanese shrines is you have these little cleansing areas with fresh water and you're supposed to cleanse both hands and then rinse your mouth out and spit the water as the last step. You're supposed to do left then right first. I messed it up but yeah I get the idea. Fushimi Inari Taisha is the head shrine of the god Inari located in the Fushimi ward in Kyoto, Japan. You can see some statues here of Inari. There's a lot of them scattered all around the shrine, but these are some of the biggest. This is also one of the bigger buildings being at the base of the Inari mountain. The mountain is also named Inari after the god. And the structures down here are some of the biggest and most colorful. I had to show them off just because I thought they were really beautiful. And I felt really lucky to be able to look at these in person. And maybe someone else will appreciate them too. A lot of these structures date back to as far as 720 AD. They've been restored and worked on obviously since then, but overall they're pretty old and it's mm -hmm. nice to see them in such a great shape despite their age. Also here is an area where rice wine, uh, sake is being prepared. You can see someone back there working on some things, but there's tons of sake barrels and I thought that just looked really cool at the entrance before you start walking up the steps you can see this building and the front entrance to the shrine kitsune regarded as the messengers are often found in inari shrines one attribute is key the rice granary in their mouths which could mean why we see a lot of sake barrels around this shrine omikuji are random fortunes written on strips of paper at shinto shrines that literally mean sacred lot these are usually received by making a small offering and randomly choosing one from a string or a box of them they are usually folded or tied and here we are at the entrance to the tori walkway that goes up tons of steps up the mountain to multiple smaller shrines. Each of these tori is also actually said to be purchased by Japanese businesses with their names on them if you look closely. You can see different, uh, different kanji on each one symbolizing who bought them. There's also different sizes and sometimes slightly different colored ones depending on their age. I'm not entirely sure how much each of these run but I know each business that purchase, purchases a, t a Tori basically donates money towards the shrine to keep it running and keep it around and intact. This trail of Tori continues all the way up the mountain for miles it seems like. I never got to the end of it personally. You also may recognize this scene because it was used in a famous movie, Memoirs of a Geisha, to symbolize her as a child making a wish into the fountain to see her long lost love again. There's the different sizes of Tori that you can get. It's a little fox right here. Oh, there's one over there too. He has no ears though. What happened to his ears? No ears. Or nose or tail. <laughs> 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 One yen coins. Yeah. <laughs> I was laughing at the crow. Yeah, <laughs> that one sounds pretty funny. <laughs> I like how there's uh, ah! in the Oh <laughs> oh, light bulbs. Okay, I thought it was going to be a cute little statue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I was like, oh, what's in there? Oh, it's a light bulb. <laughs> well, they don't have to use fire, I guess. Yeah. Could you imagine that job? <laughs> it would take forever here. Yeah, I just kept going on. I was doing like, the special blue fire. 
Mm. As you continue up the mountain path, you also come across a lot of smaller, more quaint looking shrines and buildings. They're all still very pretty though. I was able to look at a couple before it got too dark and go off the beaten path. Here's one of them that has a blessing area. Also, I guess a lot of tourists uh, aren't, are very handsy and like to mess with things, so they had to put a sign on this dragon to uh, not pull up the ball. I guess people are breaking the statue trying to. <laughs> if you look, you can also see some extra blessings and wishes tied all around this little shrine. All of them have different symbolism and different designs, so it was really cool to see the variants in them. Also, here's a giant bell you can ring after you put your offering in the little box. It's scenery like this I think I enjoyed the most on my trip, especially just the very like natural stone and bamboo looking structures and wooden structures up the mountain. They're all so beautiful and unique, and I really enjoyed stopping to look at them and give them some time. More kitties. Oh, he's like, don't look at me. No, no, no. He's so scared. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> too many people. <laughs> when it starts getting dark, the shrine walkways have these nice lights and all the tori, and it makes for a really pretty effect walking through the shrine. It's really well lit, so you can honestly visit it any time of day, and it's open 24 hours. I personally really enjoyed the smaller shrines dedicated to, it seemed like groups of people, maybe families, I'm not entirely sure, but they had designated areas with their own fox statues and entrance. Once it started getting dark, it kind of felt a little like a creepy movie or game, I won't lie, especially with all the crows in the background. There were so many crows at the shrine. I got some footage of them leaving later at night, which you'll see. There's tons of them. It's insane. But anyways, yeah, these shrines are really beautiful. I especially love how each fox statue had its own little neck scarf and different, you know, accessories adorning it. Each one was really special and really interesting to look at. So that was part of the my favorite thing about this shrine, I feel like, just all the cute little details up the mountain and on these walkways. Honestly, a lot of these old stone headpieces and statues reminded me of a Studio Ghibli movie, maybe specifically Spirited Away, which is why we wore the costumes here and got some cool photos. It reminds me of when Chihiro and her parents drive off into that little road and then stumble upon the abandoned theme park it has some undertones like the movie which i'm sure it's based off of but it had that vibe in general and i enjoyed it further up the mountain there's also several other cleansing stations where you basically can do the same thing. It's supposed to give you a peace of mind and get rid of any negative energy. Here's the price guide for the sizes of the Tori. <laughs>
<laughs> He's like, no, I'm gonna go hide. No. <laughs> there were so many stray cats that were rather friendly around this shrine. We actually stumbled upon an old man feeding a large group of them right before we got here. Like, where are oh. where, where are all the birds? <laughs> oh. Oh. This is bigger than you. Oh, oh. oh. who that? Is that your from men? It was nice to see that at least they got fed very frequently by all the visitors and the regulars that maintain this shrine. He's like, I want food, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's like perfectly centered. Yeah. A lot of the mini shrines even had lighting for nighttime viewing which was really nice to look at. It created a whole different feeling being there when it was dark and I enjoyed looking at everything before we headed back. This is getting close to the end of our trip to the shrine because we didn't stay out very long after the sunset, but I hope you enjoyed it. Rose. So many. <laughs> As we made our way back down the steps, this is what the entrance to the shrine looked like at nighttime, which was really beautiful, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so thank you guys if you stuck through the video this long. That's pretty amazing. Let me know if you like this style of vlogging, where I have a mixture of voiceover and live talking, and I'll try to do it more often. I might actually visit Japan again soon, so maybe I'll try to get more content like this. It's all lit up at nighttime. It's really pretty. We're about to head home, well, at our, to our Airbnb, technically not home, home, then fly back to Tokyo tomorrow. We spent a good chunk of the day here, even though we didn't get to go up the full mountain, it was still enjoyable and I highly recommend it to anyone visiting the area. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to let me know what you think of this video.